welcome back to my youtube channel um if you can hear noise behind me it's because a fan is on the weather is really hot so it's not how i can film this video without a fan in the background and also i may sound a little weird because i was eating something hot and i burnt the roof of my mouth so that's a little tricky so i'll also be drinking water just because Knowing me, I may end up filming this whole video without actually drinking water, but I just thought it was something I should mention. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pearl. If you're not new, welcome back. So today, I just thought, or rather, I realized that a lot of us went into writing the MDCN exam very unprepared because we didn't know, like, what was going to happen, the process we needed to take, how much we are going to pay for stuff and things like that. So I just thought, why not, why don't I make a video about that, at least, since I still remember a lot of stuff. Let me just make a video and explain all that is, you know, important for us to pay for and stuff like that. So let's get into the video. I'm going to divide this video into five talking points just so that I'm not beating around the bush too much So let's begin. The first one is epic registration. So You will have to do epic registration, which is essentially paying for your identity Basically, so if you school that abroad, you just want to verify your diploma and all that So it's the first part you have to pay for before you can even register for the MDCN examination you pay a hundred and thirty dollars for the first part and then the second part you pay a hundred dollars once you've passed the exam so that one is the main it's the first um, thing that you have to know about I would always advise like all people that have spoken to so far I usually advise that they get it done way before they even come back to Nigeria like once they get the soft copy of your diploma just start the process so that you can just get that out of the way and begin whatever you need to begin then two join a tutorial like some people will tell you that it's fine you can just read on your own for this exam but i don't think you can because let me give you an example there was a girl that wrote beside me like we sat down beside each other during the exam like for the computer part of the exam and it was very clear that she did not attend a tutorial because she was so confused when she was looking at the computer like she didn't know oh that there was picture part of the question like she was genuinely so confused but if she joined the tutorial she'd have known like all the parts about the exam everything that is important you know those type of things so i would advise you join a tutorial i would recommend the one i used <laughs> the one i used and the one i used that helped me to pass so it's meditude i will put something on the screen for you to see like their information and everything but it was honestly it was felt like having a cheat code like using meditude because all the information i've talked about this already a lot on my on my instagram but it was just very good you know tutors were very focused on us everything that we studied guided us you know towards the exam because of how um, intense Meditus computer like the CBT part of their papers like the CBT part of the preparation is because of how intense it was when I got to the exam hall I was so relaxed like I think I fell asleep after I was done because I still had a lot of time and I was just I looked through it, looked through it and I was just like I think I changed here guys let me just let me just leave so that's why I would advise you to use Meditus they have a very high success rate I think 90.4 so 90.4 90.2 i think so i would i would recommend using meditude and i would also recommend that whatever they tell you to do do it <laughs> like literally whatever they tell you to do because everything like every step we took that they advised us to take was really really important and also for you to like write your notes any notes that they ask you to study any topic they give you to study anything they give you in the class write it down because writing it down will help you remember just you are doing it over and over again you get like that's the best way i can put it number three i recommend you get good a good wi-fi just because i will not i can't even recommend you the wi-fi that you should use because all of them they are not okay we just recommend i just advise that you get the one that is good for your location so me based on where i live mtn works a little bit better than most so 
I was using MTN the whole time, even though realistically I was spending a lot of money because of um, what I was like the subscription I was using to prepare for the exam. But I'll just advise you to have a good internet connection just because CBT is online, so you have to practice realistically four to five times every day, sometimes less if you have a, like if you have the chance, but it's just better to revise as much as you can. Um, it is good to have good internet aside from the CBT, just there's so many things like information that will be coming in that you have to be online to receive. So I would advise good internet is just very, very important. The number four, have study partners. Like my admin in my to say, this exam is not an exam you should do by yourself. Like have study partners, have people that you study with. I had three amazing study partners that I'm grateful for till this day because honestly, they were like my rock. The whole of this exam, like aside from my family and like my friends they were really amazing because the three of them plus me so we were four that we were always studying together we would be on calls to like 2 a.m trying to revise something if somebody is feeling down which honestly i feel like it was me majority of the time because this exam just hit me in ways i didn't believe that you know and genuinely i believe this exam made me study harder than i've ever studied in my entire life so having people around that was just encouraging me just not to feel like less than it was really amazing and also because everybody has the side of the like everybody has the section that are good at so it's always good to have a variety of people that you study with just to open yourself up to gaining new information because for our own study group now um my friends gift gift is very good with like ecg she's very good with things like clerking the variety is very good with it like everybody has the thing that they're good at right so it helps you know it helps so if somebody has a question if you explain to them it helps you remember it explains to you it helps them remember it just is a whole thing so it's very i would recommend and advise that you get a study group just a set of people that you study with i had a lot of study groups though i had this three friends i had another person i was studying with actively so that was one that was actively studying physical examinations with him and mostly writing it's like all the things we needed to write in our routine stations we practiced those together so that was two study sessions i had we had study groups within medit two that were different from the personal ones i had so i would advise you to have people that you study with basically and then number five I would advise you oh also before I get to number five still on number four I would like to get people that are consistent because if you study with people that are not as into what you're studying you're just going to be lazy because if for example now me if I study too much or if it gets to a point where I'm just tired honestly I would give up like I'll just be done but because of people that I was studying with giving up did not feel like an option because if today i say okay oh guys i can't even read i can't do this i don't do this paula will say okay join the call don't talk oh but listen do you understand like with that you can't give up there's no how you're talking you're on that call for like two hours three hours four hours and somebody will not say something that you would respond to do you not understand so having people that are consistent to keep the morale going and even when because our exam didn't happen until September, so even when we had a break from going to meditate, we were still studying together at least once a week. So I'll just advise you to have consistent study partners. They are not afraid to ask questions, they're not afraid to be vulnerable so that people know where you're lacking and can help you, you know, come back up. And also, don't be afraid to ask your tutors questions because they are honestly there to help. They are there to listen to you, so don't be afraid to do that. Then number five, pray. They will tell you this at Meditus if you end up joining them. Prayer is very important. Like our uh, admin will always say that it's to end in praise, which he did, thank God. But prayer is very key just because God is the center of everything. So if you're not praying, you're honestly doing yourself. It's all I have to say. Like, like pray. Pray, pray, pray. It's very important for you. Every step of the way, pray. Pray with your study partners. Pray. pray. Just pray. 
every step of the way because for us now when we got to Ibadan for our exam we were praying every day like every day we were praying the morning together we were praying the night together like we were just it's very it's honestly very important so those are the majority like the key points that I would always advise people to to know just so that you're not caught on averse then also you'd have to um, get some books I don't want to talk too much on that because during your tutorial they will inform you of every other thing that you need I don't want to talk about the in, the main things that you will know about before you get into the tutorial you know just to give everybody like a brush up then ex some extra points that I couldn't put under anything just for like you know words on their own the first thing is be ready to cry <laughs> be ready to cry like I don't know if I will but I feel like I'll put a picture up just for you guys to see how red my eyes were majority of the time because I was crying a lot like this exam is structured to frustrate you so instead of giving up just ready to cry out your frustration like I know I was always calling my mom like crying just tired because you're reading you're reading you don't know exactly where the material is coming from you're terrified so i'll just advise you <laughs> know at the back of your mind that at some point you're gonna cry you're gonna shed tears just prepare for that number two in my extra point is it's just at some point during the course of this exam you're going to feel isolated you're going to feel as if you're the only one that understands what you're going through just because your whole life is going to revolve around this exam for the four or five months that you're going to be preparing for it so that is why once again having a study group is very important because it's a group of people that understand alongside you what you're going through because they're going through the same thing so that you don't feel alone that's why it's just very important to, and be open to if you're feeling overwhelmed call people don't just be like okay they won't get it i can't just be talking about this exam all the time if you're feeling overwhelmed call somebody don't just be quiet about it and then final very important that i'm probably saying for the one million time whatever they tell you at a tutorial center listen to it literally whatever they say because for us now doing our final the final final meeting that was had we were given 50 key points i think it was 50. i actually want to check i obviously will not put it up on the screen just because you're going to get your own too so everybody's own may be different but yes we were given 50 key points that we needed to follow for the course of this exam and i promise you following all of them really helped it was like a guide that made me feel okay this is this 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 this, this, this what i need to do this do you understand like you don't feel completely isolated you don't feel like they've pushed you into the world and there's no guide and just because they've given you everything that needs to be done and just following them is going to help tremendous um tremendously i even had like some clips that i had taken during the course of the exam um on the i think on my journey there i arrive out um i think even the, the morning of cbt and the morning of oski and when i look back at this cliff i'm just like oh god i wasn't even confident in myself but i was just confident in like what i had learned so far and just knowing that okay god did not leave me to come and embarrass myself he has brought me this far he's not going to just dump me along the way but it was honestly just weird like honestly when i look at the clips now i'm just like whoa 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 <laughs> i looked like the whole world was my shoulders but i thank god i have passed and i'm hoping that this information is going to help many other people to also like you know succeed and pass this exam so i hope this has helped in one way or the other feel free to ask me more um, questions in the comments i'm eager to answer i really hope i don't forget to post the information i need to put in this video for you guys to 
get at least a tutorial a get into many tools because they have limited slots so if you want to register for the exam now is you have to do it very very quickly because they don't like to take too many people because the more people you take the lesser it is to focus on everybody so yes i hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe share please 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 please, please, please. we're getting somewhere and i really hope we eventually get to the channel it's supposed to be thank you guys for being here i love you bye